Hello everybody, this is my full guide on how to reduce stuttering and increase FPS for Spider-Man 2 for Steam for the PC. Unfortunately, this game was very poorly optimized, but I've been looking forward to playing this for a long time. And these are the settings that help me reduce my lag for this game. Okay, let's start up the game and change a couple of settings. Okay, from this menu, go to display and graphics. Uh, for the display resolution, you want to basically match your computer's uh, native resolution or lower it a little bit. VSync should be on. Now for upscale method, DLSS makes a big, uh, lags a lot for my, C my GPU and I'm having a 4080, so I recommend turning this off. It also tends to crash the game quite a bit. Okay, and anti-aliasing, I recommend TAA. Now let's move on to graphics. Graphics, texture quality, you want this to go from high to medium. Texture filtering, 2x anti-sotropic. Shadow quality, you want this to be low. Ambient occlusion, you want this to be SSAO and not HBAO+. Screen space reflections, you want this to be off or low. This has a very high impact on your GPU and a very low impact on the quality of the visuals of this game. Ray tracing, uh, if you can do it, keep it on, but it's gonna lag your game quite a bit. I keep it off for now just to make sure the game runs properly, uh, but it will of course make the game look a lot better. I do not recommend turning this to high, uh, or very high I should say, unless you have a 4090. I have a 4080 and high is still a lot. Level of detail, high is okay. Traffic density, this is high on default. Uh, you want this to be low, crowd density to be low. Two other things, motion blur, this will be a 10 on default. This lags the game a lot. You want this to be on zero. Film grain strength, this also lags the game a lot. You want this to be on zero, okay. That's it for all the settings within the game. Let's switch a bunch of settings within Windows to optimize performance. Now that we're in Windows, there's a couple of things that you want to change. For Steam, turn off overlays. So go to Steam, Settings, uh, In-Game, right here. The very top selection will be Enable the Steam Overlay while in-game. You want to turn this off. By the way, I forgot to mention it, but I'm assuming that you have updated to the current drivers, a driver released for this game today. You need to have it installed. Um, even if you haven't installed, the game still runs uh, poorly, but you need to keep it installed just to make sure. While you have this open, by the way, if you don't have the NVIDIA app, you need to get the NVIDIA app if you're running an NVIDIA GPU. Go to settings and turn off NVIDIA overlay. Okay, it's right here, by the way. This does lag the game quite a bit. Go back to Steam, find Spider-Man 2 uh, in your library, go to Properties, go to Installed Files, and click on Verify Integrity of Game Files. This will take a couple of minutes to do, but it will basically make sure that the game uh, doesn't have any kind of corrupt files. Epic Games Launcher, you can do the same thing. Okay, next thing you want to do, go to the Start menu, go to Settings, from here, go to System, scroll down until you see, I'm sorry, System, go to Display, scroll down until you see Graphics, and here you should see something called Change Default Graphic Settings. Click on that. On the very top, you're going to see Hardware Accelerated GPU Scheduling. This will be off by default. You want this to be on. So turn this on if it is not on already. While you are here, you want to add an app uh, in this graphics uh, window. So if you have Spider-Man to install like I do, that is fine. If you do not, what you gotta do is add it. So under add an app, desktop app, you want to click on browse. It will ask you what the game folder is. To find that, go back to Steam, right click on the game, go to properties, go to installed files, Click on Browse on the top right. Here you're gonna find the game path and the executable. So copy and paste the game path here. This should come up. You should see Spider-Man uh, right here, dot exe. Say, uh, click on Add and you will add it here. Once you have done that, find Spider-Man. And you want to click on this and click on Options. 
So you want to switch this to high performance to make sure that your CPU, I'm saying your computer, is prioritizing this game above anything else while it is running. The next thing you want to do, uh, go back into your NVIDIA control panel, or I should say open your NVIDIA control panel. There's 3D settings on the left hand side. Under 3D settings, you'll see global settings and program settings. So scroll down on global settings, you're going to see shader cast size. I have it set to 100. If you don't have it set to at least 10 gigabytes or ideally 100 gigabytes, do that. Um, this basically makes sure the game doesn't run out of RAM. By the way, there is one thing we're going to do to improve lag in this game. So we're going to temporarily delete the cache uh, folder for, for NVIDIA. So how do you do that? Go to disabled for this. Then what you do is open file explorer, go to C users, whatever user that you're currently logged in as. From here, uh, go to app data. This will be hidden by default. You need to click on view, show hidden items to show it. Click on that, go to local, scroll down until you see NVIDIA. And you'll see two folders, DX cache and GL cache. You want to click on this, press control A and delete to delete everything within this folder. Do the same for GL cache, control A, delete delete everything in this folder. By the way, when you do this, you need to shut off everything, all games, uh, Steam, uh, or else it will not let you delete it. After you delete it, restart your computer. Then once you restart the computer, reopen NVIDIA control panel, go back to manage 3D settings. For here, shader cache size, set this back to 100 or unlimited. And voila, you have just deleted the cache for NVIDIA. This does lag the game and makes some games stutter, especially newer games, uh, and make sure that you have enough uh, spare space on your computer to make sure that it can write those once again. So after you've done that, you want to, of course, turn off your antivirus that takes a lot of computer resources. So go into Windows Security. Here, go to uh, Virus and Threat Protection and scroll down until you see virus and threat protection settings. Click on manage settings and then click on real-time protection. Turn this off. Of course, I do not recommend this all the time. Just do this while you're running the game to make sure it doesn't lag. I also recommend you to install this game on an SSD if you haven't already. That will of course improve lag. And I also recommend installing this on the same drive as, uh, as Steam is installed on. If Steam is on C, then this should also be on C. Um, there's a lot of issues with games that are installed on different drives and C is installed, especially if you're using uh, cloud files, it gets confused and it can't write uh, some files properly. So make sure that that is the case. Now, the last thing I would recommend is a program called Exit Lag. This program is absolutely amazing. So what this does is this basically, it's a software that improves FPS in games for your desktop. Uh, this is free for the first three days. It's $6 a month after that. So it's not very expensive. For online gaming, this is amazing. Basically it uses VPNs to connect you to the server that's closest to you. This decreased my ping in Path of Exile 2 from 30 to 15. I have Steam running through it, and Steam runs at something like 5 ping, depending on the time of day. It is quite amazing. On top of that, you can shotgun uh, internet here, you can go multi-internet, you want to use a mobile connection, Wi-Fi, and Ethernet at the same time, you can. You go to FPS boost here, you can click on set maximum processing priority for games, disable energy efficient Ethernet, basically it, it changes a lot of settings within Windows to make sure that you get the most FPS from your games. You can also turn on a couple more settings to make sure that you're getting the most out of the games. Again, it is free for three days. Give it a shot. You can uh, find Steam on this, connect it to it. It'll find the quickest route. Right now I have three ping up, one ping down. Let's see what my ping is for this. I'm getting six ping on Steam. It is absolutely incredible. Give it a shot. 
I'm putting a link in the video description and the pinned comment. If this video helped you, please leave the video a like and please subscribe. If it didn't help you, leave the video a comment and I will do my best to get back to you.